Hello and welcome to Sadistic TV. It's your boy DJT so and I'm here for cell reviews and today we are reviewing the one and only Royce of Five Nines with his latest project, The Book of Ryan. So let's go, let's just dive right into it. The album is about Royce of Five Nines entire life. Uh, his full name is Ryan Montgomery, so hence why it's called The Book of Ryan. And it talks about his struggles with addictions, with uh, drugs, etc. And that's essentially the project in a nutshell and how he's come to deal with this. I was very impressed with the story of this album. There were so many ways I could have interpreted. I don't know how to say that word. Interpreted it or is it interpretation? Anyway, there were so many ways I could have taken the whole album on board and dissected it. And that was the beauty of this album. It could have been taken anyhow you wanted. But however, um, I felt like he pushed the story he was really trying to push was the fact that he was a recovering a recovering um you know that he recovered sorry not recovering he recovered completely um from his addictions from his well-being and he wanted um people to hear that now upon hearing the album like i said i took um i had many interpretations that's the one that's how i say that word Damn. i had many interpretations of the album and two really stuck out to me though it was just two inter inter interpretations that really stuck out to me the first uh idea that i had of this album was the story behind uh, like just the story of a man who's finally come um who's who has he's thinking clearly now he's been through so much and now that he's clean now that he's beaten every single demon that he has he's now on a different level of um, intelligence, of awareness, especially. I think the one song that really highlights this is Parallel, the skit. Um, I think uh, it's analysis of the game. Um, and, and you know, um, the story we're trying to tell there is, you know, like, it, it, it's a story about a man who feels underappreciated, who feels like he's not getting the... Um, they love he did, like you know he's not getting celebrated for um he's not getting celebrated for beating his addiction you know for beating his demons for overcoming his demons whilst the society celebrates you know people that are on drugs the other interpretation that i took from this album uh was also that he was actually that he actually sent this album to his son it was actually for and only his son I prefer this interpretation because of the fact that it I connected after Who Are You the skit again I really connected with the album then in Who Are You in the skit he says that his son was talking to his father and they asked him to do a paper um, on a notable figure in his life and he chose his dad um, he chose that to, to do that paper on and he was gonna call it the book of Ryan now I didn't realize this I didn't actually notice this until the fourth or fifth listen but when he said the book of ryan and then everything stopped and then he, he just highlighted the book of ryan i was like hmm. so i took a different view of the album in my opinion this was a very good move from him he made he made um it would it made me the listener to be more supple to actually accepting his messages to actually listen to his messages and um when i realized that it wasn't at me you know um because especially you you gotta remember when you're hearing advice for the first time no matter who it's from you're gonna f unless it's from a family member like a father or a mother um who has you know like um unless it's from them you're not really going to listen you understand you're not really going to take his advice on especially in outside outside was a perfect song to demonstrate um the point i was making look at the window what do you see police shooting um brothers uh that look like you and me and they acting like they hate us so you may want to love yourself uh to compensate um to um just to compensate now when i heard that i connected with the whole entire story and i got what he was talking about because this is not just for his son anyone listening will see that and they will take a message from that and you know and they will take it on to maybe they need to love themselves maybe you no know, it's not you know it's not our fault that people are getting shut down the streets it was storytelling at its best and they use you know the way he's told his story 
I really loved it, this album. I gave it a 7.6. Um, 7.6, really. I, I would have loved to give this an 8. I felt it was a proper masterpiece. I felt like it was a very good body of work, but I couldn't give it an 8. I, I could only give it... I couldn't give it lower than a 7 either. It wasn't bad. I just felt like he could have ended it a lot better than the way he, he, he ended the album. I wasn't impressed with first of the month being the end. I'm not I'm not counting Caterpillar remix as the end with Logic. I'm not counting that as an ending. It was it's a remix. But the first of the month, um, I believe was the appropriate ending. And I didn't like the way that end way that he delivered his message. Um, especially in parallel. I think he weighed in first and foremost for any artist for me to go and look up a word i think that's skill in itself i had to look up what he meant when he used the word parallel where's my parallel to that where is my parallel to that that skit was skits are very important first and foremost but that skit really set the tone for me understanding this album a lot more when i when i looked up the word parallel when i when i looked at the word parallel it turned out that yeah um that it actually means, and I'm gonna read this out from the screen, it actually means a shared quality or characteristic. Now, when I when I dissected this, I was like, in the song, he talks about, you know, um, he talks really, really passionately about the fact that he overcame drugs, the fact that he over- overcame drinking, overcame all these demons that was holding him back in, in his entire life, and he beat that, right? This is what he's saying, but what does he mean, mean by parallel? So I looked up the word and I was like, okay, it's shared a shared quality or, char- or characteristic. So who shares the quality of um, who shares the quality of going through addiction, drug um, drug use, etc. Who shares these characteristics? And why is it a parallel? Why is it similar? Why like you know why is it not the same? And I and then it hit me. The game. The game, like you know, like he he said it he said it in in the song that he's not celebrated, that he's not he that you know how could how could a n word go through all these things, go through the demons, go through drinking, go through um, all these addictions, overcome it. Where's my parallel to that? Where's my parallel to that? And that with for me, I was like, oh, the game is celebrating people that are that are going through these things but they're putting gut the people that are doing drugs glorifying drugs glorifying um um having that kind of life rather than focus on focus on those that have overcome that life no one talks about them point blank so when i understood this i was like i see like that content alone in parallel was amazing now it made sense for the uh for the for the rest of the album especially with legendary and I felt Parallel and Legendary are kind of side by side here. They're kind of parallel. <laughs> Caterpillar was a song um, about the state of the game and what he feels is going on. This song, I have to say, it inspired me to look at the game in a whole different way. When I say this, um, the use of metaphor, again, like I said, you will have 8 out of 7 from me if you are able to create an image in my head, make a metaphor out of a word that no one would have expect. So of um Caterpillar is a song about um that weighs into the current state of the game, which I believe is killing the game right now, and that is the old debate of which is um you know the old generation versus the new generation. Um I believe this is killing the game and I and and the stance that Royce of 59 took on it. Um it was it was good, it was very it was excellent actually. I just didn't agree with a couple of points and this and this is it. Caterpillar in this song would represent the old heads. You know how Caterpillar, they're the first ones that were here. They came into the game. Ring the alarm, the Caterpillar keeps firing. Oh, <laughs> we're in a war where the butterflies keep dying. Okay, so when I when I understood that, I was like, the Caterpillar is firing, butterflies are dying. I didn't... I understood that to a... Um, to a uh, on a level, and I it, it kind of agreed with the narrative I was gonna go for because um, at first I thought this this meant that that you know the you know I took it at a blank view of old generation new generation moths and butterfly come from the same they come in the same way they're just different type of butterflies um, 
they come from caterpillars too. Um, so when when moths are created, they are only <laughs> out for themselves, really. They eat your clothes. They make they make a mess everywhere. They just come and take, come, take, come, take, come, take. That is not different from from the way I see the game. I see a lot of these new age rappers. They just come into the game, not really for longevity, not really for being a legend. They just want to be rich, really, from what I've seen anyway. So, which is why I said legendary and parallel are very, <laughs> they're very parallel because it shares a light and says that this entire game is like that, it, it, um, where people that work on your artistry are not being celebrated, but rather those that have got clout is being celebrated. I gave it a 6.6 .6 for the lyrical ability of this album, 3.5 uh, 3 for the skill and 3.0 for the content. Like I said, it's not because of, again, <laughs> just two tracks, like I said, two tracks really threw me off. And everything else in the in in the entire album was a work of art um but the fact that he didn't end it properly is what really i was like mm. now for the feel of the album i really connected with this album um like i said earlier the inclusion of, of his son you know he he didn't even start off with making about his son he didn't even you wouldn't suggest that with the way it started after protecting ryan everything started changing and you know this is why i gave it 2.0 2 rather than 2.5 because i felt like i said i felt disconnected after anything and everything and you know it just didn't end well for me so that's why the flow went down as well for the instrumentation i felt like it was actually pretty good um he experimented very little i think he was going more for the lyrical content i felt i felt like he was focused more on the story but that being said, um, there were some songs, like example, Cocaine, the, 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 instrumentation, the instrumentation there was fantastic. It really helped me connect with the story, um, the style that he used, as well as, um, as, well as outside and amazing. It really helped me connect. Um, it, I felt it was very, I felt it was very lazy-like. And, you know, I have to say this, he had two projects out last year, Bar Exam and Bar Exam 4, 2017. And then on top of that, he had um, he's part of a hip hop duo with DJ Premier called Prime, and he released Prime Two in March. And then this album um, in May. <laughs> that is a lot of work. That's why I felt like the instrumentation was not fully on point um, with some of the songs, especially when he come after anything and everything. I lost connection with the entire album. But with the amount of work that he's been putting into um, his previous albums, as well as Prime, as well, I'm I'm really not surprised. Like you know, I'm not gonna say I'm not surprised, but I can sympathize and uh, and I kind of wished that he probably did push back a little bit of the date. So I'm gonna add up the scores now, and this means it's 90 overall. That's the final rating. Which is actually, it's, it's, like I said, even though I felt like it wasn't, it didn't end well, I couldn't downgrade this work. That's what I'm trying to say. There was nothing wrong with this work. Now, I do have to say this about, about the album. It's going to get ignored. I hate the current, I hate the fact that this is not an album era that we're living in. This is not an album generation, it's a, it's a singles generation. Because I wish this was an album generation. Because this is a body, this is an amazing piece of art. The reason why I believe this is so amazing is just the simple fact that he used he he brought in his son at the right time. The use of his son, the fact that he turned around to make um, to make this album about his son and advising his son, going through all of that, he put he puts like I said in the, in the story, he puts all of us at ease. He put all of us at, I need to hear this message. What is he trying to say? And there were so many nuggets in here that you can take away from. I don't listen. First and foremost, I don't listen to a song for the message. I don't listen to an album for, for what message you trying to send me. What, like, I don't listen for that. What I listen for is, can I connect? And on this album, I actually connected and I learned something. When you listen to this album as well and going through addiction, you... Listen, you are in 
his mind. You are literally understanding every single thing that he was going through. You can connect and maybe, just maybe, it can inspire you to get over that addiction. I can't relate and say, oh, it's inspired me to stop smoking crack because I don't, because I, I don't smoke crack. I don't do crack. I don't do cocaine. I don't do any of that stuff. I don't, I don't have a, a, an alcohol addiction. But I'm looking at someone that probably does, and they are gonna pick up this album and they're gonna hear the damage it causes the people around them. They're gonna hear what his life has been like going through all this. The story with his fathers, um, with his father. The story with. Um, with, with his son like how his father has impacted his life um, by his addiction and how he's impacted his family I felt it I, I felt it and I'm like someone going through this who is currently considering con- considering doing drugs who what they may actually think twice I hope he doesn't miss an addict I hope he doesn't miss um, someone that's struggling to do with drugs I hope he doesn't miss miss most importantly the people that are thinking about doing drugs or being peer pressured into doing drugs i hope he doesn't miss them because this would do wonders for them to hear someone that's actually beaten it and is now living the best life that they could live aware of themselves going "Mm -mm." he was right when he said in parallel that he like you know where's my parallel to that where's my story why is it like you know he, he, he kind of predicted his own future and i have to agree with him because no one is really going to pay this album any attention let's be honest the game at the moment is rigged so that so, so that you do drugs rather than get off drugs should it be ce- celebrated the way it is in um to young children everywhere that that they are left without that they are left feeling that they have to do drugs to be cool that is not as voice would put it legendary i'm not gonna sit here and judge you and say you're bad for doing drugs you're bad for doing drugs but i really hope that you at least before you pick up the drug or pick up anything that's gonna harm your life in a way if done incorrectly before you do that you at least are aware of the dangers around and this album lets you know that it's in a, in such a way that you it takes you into your family life in, in terms of your friends and everyone it's like strong friend is the one song that everyone needs to listen to on this album if you like re- this review please uh you know um like subscribe for more reviews as well leave a comment below let me know what you think Hope to see you on the next review. Peace.